to you because, and it's got to be something because you, you know you're going to spend a year of your life. You know, it takes me a year to my home, and you you have to spend a year on it. You have to spend a year of my life on it. So it's got to be something that I, I'm going to need. And they took me on. They signed me up. So um, so suddenly I had an agent, um, and it was very nice having an agent. But the very first thing that she did was then give me uh, a long list of things that were still wrong with it. <laughs> and uh, I had to kind of go through it. And, um, but each time I did a, 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 a new plan, it just got better and better and better and better. And I was learning what it was that they, you know, they were looking for. Um, so then we, that was the summer of 95, 96. I was, I was actually working at, um, so BBC Worldwide, not that this is burned into my brain or anything. Um, and I was absolutely gutted because I, I was absolutely convinced that I, would, I was, you know, that I would get punished. And I got, so I got this rejection letter and then I got another rejection letter. Um, and then I got um, a letter from someone who, who said they actually wanted to see it. There was a novel. And that was interesting because it, it, what it showed me is that, um, you know, you only need one person who likes it to make a complete difference. Um, you know, quite often I will meet people who, who say, oh, you know, they've written novels, and say, well, I'm sent out to I'll send out to one agent, and they didn't like it. And go, well, there are literally hundreds of agents, and you only need one of them to say yes, and everything can be completely different. So don't be shy about sending it out to lots of people. So um, I sent it, uh, so this agent, um, I sent the whole manuscript to them, and then about a month later, um, they uh, sent me a really nice letter saying, um, quite clearly you can write, um, but we don't think you're going to get published um, this long, and here's a long list of reasons why. And uh, I was, uh, and, I, and again, it was that arrogance of news, I was just like, what do they know? And then I was like, mm, maybe they know, because they're literally the ancient, they know that. So I went through um, this list of, um, I made a conscious decision that I'm only going to go out and forge you look for you. And I always like to think that somewhere out in deepest, darkest Essex, um, there's a short side that's slightly overweight of man. But for me to thank you, it's not good. Reading this, this novel, but I'm my girl. And she went, she looked at the back of the book, she looked at the back, she looked at the back. Went, You're my girl, went, yes! And I just thought, you know, how amazing it is that I, I can make this woman cry with my words. Normally, I, I at least have to have a conversation with a woman to make her cry. <laughs> and here I am now doing my remote control. And it was just this really powerful moment. And we had this amazing conversation where she told me all about the, 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 what the book had meant to her. And it, it was just, it just made me just think, this is why I want to be a woman, why I can And you have it. You. Uh, at the time when I'm sitting in front of my iMac, I never actually think about the moment when I'll be sitting in front of an audience and I'll have to read it to them. And so um, this is my sort of preamble to apologise for um, how I'm about.